Hey y'all, how you doing? Whoa. <clears throat> Uh, it's been a really long time since I filmed the video. I'm sorry I moved. I'm in a new spot. You can't really tell. But I moved. I'm in a huge, well, huge for me, but it's a cute little house. Yay! So that's where I've been. I've been doing stuff. So today you can tell I don't really have that much going on with my face. I am actually going to show y'all how I do my eyebrows. I mean, I don't have the most perfect eyebrows. I'm not doing them the best, like the Instagram eyebrows, but it's just like how I do it. So little tips and tricks I can show you and let's just hurry up and jump right into this because I like to talk. So let's get started. But most of my stuff is drugstore that I'm using today. Actually, all of it is drugstore right now. So you can get some decent looking brows better than these for pretty cheap. So I'll go ahead and jump right into that. So what I first do is I take a brow pencil, and this one is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I have no idea what color this is, but it's this one. Here, let me flip it this way so you can read it. It's probably like a medium ash brown, but this one has a spoolie on the end, which is a really little, like a baby spoolie, which I'm not mad at. And then it has a really thin pencil it's not the thinnest but it's good it's decent so what I do first is I take the pencil and I draw an outline of my eyebrow and a few tips that you can do tips and tricks that you can use for your eyebrows where the placement goes where you're supposed to draw them on is take your pencil and put it by your nose that's where your brow is supposed to start and then turn it to your iris and that is where your arch is supposed to be to your nose and to the corner of your eye that's where it's supposed to end so mine kind of match up right there so I'm gonna take my pencil and from the beginning of my um, eyebrow where it starts I'm gonna draw a little line a very thin line all the way from the bottom of my brow And then around my arch, I'm going to smooth it, bring it down. And then I'm going to form the tail. Okay. Now from there, I, so I go from the beginning to the tail. Now I go to the tail back to the beginning. So I'm going to start at my arch and I'm going to draw my tail. I'm going to do a little thin line at the top of my eyebrow. Very thick. And then I'm going to go in the middle of my brow and I'm going to meet my arch. And then I'm going to round my arch off. And then I'm going to just slowly bring it towards the top of my brow, in the beginning. And just do it a little bit right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my spoolie side. I'm just going to brush my brows through. And then kind of blend that a little bit. And then you can see where I have some really like sparse hairs right here by my arch. I'm going to fill that in. Just very lightly with soft, small strokes. And then down my tail a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna brush it through, blend it together. I am missing a bit right here, but I do not fill that in. That's to give me the fade, like the Instagram brow. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. This one, I'm missing a bit of hair at the bottom. So I'm just gonna, I have a straight line on this side, so I'm gonna do a straight line the same way, so it makes it a bit more uniform. Okay, 
just gonna drag this through and blend it through a little bit. And then that's where I'm gonna see where my spots are, where I need to fill it in. So it's gonna be up here from my arch, a little bit throughout right here, and then my tail. And I don't go really thick on it. I just make it a little bit more than what it already is. Just to spruce it up a bit. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how messy you make your outside line because you can always clean that up. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Brow Drama. It's a palette. It's in soft brown. It has a highlight color, a brow powder, which I've used a lot, and then a brow like pomade. It also has a little spoolie and a double-ended angled brow brush, liner brush. I actually do use this because it's really thin, and the ones I have are really thick. So what do I do? I'm going to take the powder and I'm just going to brush that through my brows. With the brush. And this is to just give it a more uniform color to make it look fuller, but also softer because it's a powder and not just straight brow pencil. Okay, and then for the powder, I do bring that underneath at the bottom of my top and then I push it up. So it's not just straight skin. Okay, there's like a little fade. Okay, do that side of the This brow is definitely my strong brow, and this brow needs a bit TLC. Can you look at it? Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, and then I take the spoolie that comes with it. It's a really big one, so it like gets all, it moves product, like product better. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna brush it through my brow to make sure everything is blended well together. And it also will take away the excess. So now what I'm gonna do I will take my concealer, which is the Maybelline Master Conceal, and I think this is in Fair. It's an okay concealer. And I'm going to take that on my Wet n Wild. I don't know what kind of brush this is. But it's one of their new brushes, and it's kind of like a concealer brush, I'm pretty sure. But I blend my concealer with my Beauty Blender, so I use this one to cut those brows. So I'm just taking a little bit on the back of my hand and get a little bit on my tip and I'm going to cut the bottom of my brow to clean it up. It also disguises some like the rogue hairs you may have. So I'll just drag that underneath my front and then I'm going to bring it down. My tail. I use concealer so it will brighten up the area so it gives like a brow lift. They do make specific products for this. And I'm so sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder and not the camera. I'm a terrible person. I know that. Okay, and I'm just going to blend it a little bit. You can also bring it down. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, so now that you have that underneath, you can take the concealer again, or you can use your foundation. And I have enough concealer on my hands, so I'm just gonna use that to cut the top. You can use the foundation so it just blends into your skin, but I don't wanna waste. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start at my arch, and then go right above my tail, if you can see what I'm doing. 
There we go. Look at that brow. That's the same to the other side. Okay, and then I take a little bit and I go right in front of my brow just to just in case I made any mistakes. But if you don't like this, if you don't like the squared off look, you don't have to do it. I also have a pimple right by my brow, so that's gonna cover it up a bit more. Okay, you can blend this out with your finger or anything. I like to use my beauty blender, and it's a little dirty because I did my foundation with it. Um, I just take the tip and I squeeze it a little bit, and then I just, Pat it to blend. And then you can follow up and put, you can do some touch ups wherever you may need it if you, co if you covered it too much with the concealer. And then you can powder around the outside so it blends in. And then you're good to go. Look at these brows. Ooh, ooh, girl. They are cats. Hunty. I mean, it's a little harsh on the outside. I do definitely need to blend that out a little bit more, my concealer. But, girl, look at these brows. When you look a mess and your brows are, whew, you're good. <laughs> So I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup, whatever. I'm just running errands, so I'm probably just gonna throw some mascara on. And I'll see y'all next time. And please subscribe. Please subscribe. I watch you too. Thank you. If you do enjoy what I do and you are able to put up with me for right now, after being away for a month and a half, then subscribe and I'll hopefully put out some more videos. That's dumb. I'm dumb. Hey.